pins he's been making. Oh, Max is actually getting in the way, so... You're going to see that trophy later, I promise. Definitely. Here we go. 2014 versus Welp in the finals of QuakeCon 2014 CTF tournament. Sponsored by PC Part Picker and Rafu Clock to begin with. So... Yeah, we have a lot of uh, throwdown in the middle here, just as everybody's picking up weapons and the initial armors, but it looks like Clock is going to be the one trying to sneak into base here a little bit. He's uh, so far not been spotted, but it's going to be a little bit of LG going there. All right, Lurk's going to be out. Zero Four spawns right in front of him. That's going to be an easy kill, an easy way to pick up, well, or rather put down Zero Four, keep him off the board for at least another few seconds. And so Clock's doing a lot of uh, sneaky work. I'm actually, you know, it's quiet at the moment, but I want to see what he can put together again. Waz taking on down there. And, you know, they start, need to start realizing that Clock is a problem. Starting to get some more base defense on the flag itself, and Brick is finally able to take him on down. Taking a look over here at Waz on the respawn, coming back into mid. We're going to have Quad for too long. Yeah, here we go, Quad. And Brick is actually in position. He's always been so strong. Getting those stacks, pushing onto the Quad. Managed to get the, the frag on the pickup, the player's uh, pickup of that Quad, but it's just madness in mid for oh, that Quad. Finally, well, Psyche was able to pick that one up, and he's going to get away. Just drop that for Clock. He's Clock going to stack up on more armor and make the run in. Can he get through mid though? He's got some support from Rafa there, and here he is. But he is getting lower and lower. But here the run continues. Oh jeez, but it's going to be shut down finally by Zero Four. But yeah, that quad has traded hands several times. We've got to hang on the flag now though. He's got plenty of med kit, getting a major plasma push over to the flag. And uh, this actually may be a very quick first one. But Rafa once again on the flag scope. He can make it out of base and get out of this fight. But no, he's diving right into it. He has a bit of stack to work with, but not anymore. Where he should see a trade. But no, 0-4 finally coming from the rear, getting the return. We're going to see 2013 picking up their first point. An early cap here in the, basically the first two minutes of the game. 2014 off to a fantastic start, and we're seeing all the players that really, really warm and ready for this match so far. And it is a best of three to remind you guys. And here we are following Saigib as he tries to make his way onto the enemies who are encroaching his blue base. And also 2014 gaining a lot of ground, but Clock now picking up the, the flag for well, picks nice. up the Mega as well. So can he make this out to mid? Oh wow, he's got 0-4 and Brick coming after him, but he's going to be able to hold him down. Man, everyone's just responding, coming after him, and they're finally going to get the flag dropped, but who's going to get the pickup? Oh, where's that flag? It's going to finally be returned, 2014. Still in the lead here, just a couple minutes in. Rafa now, no stack. He's going to be spending a bit of time in base, picking up the Mega, getting ready for the next one. We have Quad coming up in 25 seconds, however, so ID. We saw him get the initial pickup last time. I'm sure he's going to be ready for that party. Yeah, I'm looking at Rafa right now on my screen, and I see he's actually getting really, really stacked. Of course, he's usually the one taking all those resources, timing all those items, and pushing his way onto that power-up. Uh, who do we have for 2014 with a stack, though? Brick has actually got a decent stack as well, so we're going to see the Rafa Brick clash most likely over at this quad. Here they go, fighting for it, and Rafa's going to be able oh to no. take Brick down, but the quad's still up on the spot. Who's going to grab that? It's like, well, do get it with it. And IED on the quad right now, and actually he's got med kit, a little bit of health to work with, taking down just about everybody though. Whiffing a rail at the moment, finally going to get nailed on down. That quad going over to 0-4, but a lot of it's been knocked off. He's sort of out of position for really doing much besides defending with this quad. This may be just a way to keep things quiet for the next minute or so. Definitely, and Rafa quickly running with it. another really, really, really scary stack on the defense. So I don't see Welp dropping any flags just yeah, I mean, it's, I'm surprised, in fact, that 2014 were able to get that quick one out there. And it seems like Welfare are doing much better on the defense here. Rafa just holding it down, running all those items. That's probably the guy that you want, running all the Absolutely, items if you can yeah. pick anyone in this tournament. No kidding. But that's really going to set the tone here, you know. Again, having that early cap, like you said, it, uh, it really changes things up from just having a stalemate over mid to actually putting a lot of pressure on Welp. So Rafa and crew, they're going to be the ones to watch as Rafa completely stacked up. He's... Uh, Got some notes of somebody entering his base, but he wants to make it back into mid without getting caught in too much of a scuffle. But we see him kind of make a, a dramatic shift from playing on the defense to, you know, being deployed into mid in a more offensive role. And it's always interesting seeing, you know, what those beats are and when that occurs. And uh, actually just uh, saw Saigib in mid there. We have, you know, good def defense from Rafa in the base. Uh, Saigib's actually pushing out with the mecha into mid, making a lot of frags happen. And so far, Welp seems to be setting up well for the quad, but it's actually not for another 30 seconds. So they've got to keep this control of mid going because it, it really feels like they're going to need that mid, that push with the power up to get that first, or rather the tie cap to actually happen here on map number one in this grand final. What, only 20 seconds away now? ID's been hanging out in mid a lot, but he's also been dying in mid a lot, which means that by the time Quad comes up, he's going to be essentially weaponless. I mean, we usually look at ID to be the one 
making a lot of pressure on that quad. Decided to get dying there. We have Yellow Armor going away. Quad coming up here in four seconds. Clock ready for it, at least to do some spam and rails on it. But it's going to be Brick getting the pickup, getting initial rails off, taking everybody down and taking this back to base to go ahead and get some armor. Might have a, ha have a handoff. It's going to be the Hang actually getting the pickup with Mega Health and 1YA available to him as he makes his way back through mid, hoping to just push on through here without getting entangled in anybody. Oh no, it's not going to happen though. He's starting to get some rails. He's starting to get caught up. He's going to get an LG push. Not a friendly one, however. It's going to be Rafa taking him down. That was really, really well played there. The Hang, I think his only objective there was to get that quad to the end, to Rafa, I imagine, and just take him down. Get rid of all the stack on the defenders, and that would be that would be a really, really good move for them. But got caught in mid. They have such good team play, such good crossfires going on, and it's going to take a lot more work than that. And it really feels like this early cap from 2014 is going to mean a huge amount in this game, considering how close it's been since that point. Yeah, but you can see Welp really trying to put a lot of pressure on mid, just trying to make this a solid line in the sand that 2014 will not be able to cross. But the rail aim out of everybody today, you know, is really, really fantastic. It makes it difficult to hold down anything at that long of a range. So I get picking that rail back up. Clock coming back in, looking for the hit, but getting a few whiffs there. So far, hitting only, well, 33%. Obviously, he must not be using it all that much, but he's got to get that rail warmed up. I know it's early in the morning, at least in quick con terms, but it's going to be vital here on the first map. It certainly is, and again, caught in 30 seconds or so, and mid control is always really important. I've been seeing a lot of good stuff from, from uh, well, Psygib actually in mid so far, and I'm really curious to see if we're going to get one of those really powerful brick quad runs, because we saw him doing some really right. incredible work yesterday, and he really surprised me how solid he was, and it looks like we're going to get a grab from it here of that flag. He's really low, though, needs some support desperately to get this flag out of there, and Waz is going to take him out and get the return, and here goes the quad five seconds away. That was a good way to do some damage in the base before quad comes up. This should be a weapon quad. I mean, you can see ID really pushing out doing some damage, making it so that Rafa can come on through here, get a clean quad, or at least until that rail does something about it. He's going to get taken on down, but Psygib's on the pickup. You've been paying a lot of attention to him on the mid, and hopefully he can turn that into something, but nope, it's going to be, uh, I think that was Rafa who got that pickup. I don't know why this is actually in control of it now, but this is going to be just a, uh, a done quad, still 13 seconds left on it. We're going to have to see if 2014 can put some more pressure on the flag. Yeah, that was a really, really good save there from 2014. <laughs> Rafa, he was just dropping onto the quad, no contestation on the pickup, had a great stack going for him. And had they not fragged him there in mid, they well, could very well have made that their cap. And nice <laughs> a mid air coming out there in mid. And still, it's hard to separate these two teams at the moment. And neither, neither side is really making a huge difference. I like how yet. that quad stayed out on the field, essentially, for just about a minute. You know, nobody was really <laughs> yeah. in charge of it for very long. And really, it, it spawned in, in mid, and it had a lot of battle in mid, and it died in mid. So that quad didn't really move much. I'm having a lot of good attacks coming in from players like it here, actually, onto, onto Brick's defense, removing all of his stack as well. So it looks like we are getting some headway onto... Uh, well, Paul getting some headway onto the red base, but again, Quad's in 30 seconds, so by the time they get the chance to actually make a good push, Quad is already spawning, so your attention is diverted, but Waz going to go with that flag grab, oh, he's so getting weak, it though. up to mid. Oh, geez, this has to be absolutely perfect. Down to six health, that last trail, actually, will take it down, man. Nobody was there to get the relay, so it's going to be a reset there. Almost halfway through, and we're still looking at 2014 in the lead. So again, I have to, as, as always, before the boss, check out who is stacked. But actually, in the meanwhile, the hang is actually picking up the flag and just going for it, but he gets caught. All the players converging on his position to get that quick return before this quarter is going to spawn. And Rafa's not really very stacked at the moment. Are we looking at any stacks right now? Rick not stacked, the hang not stacked. Rafa's the most stacked with 75 armor. He's going to come in once again. He got the last one. Can he do better with oh this? Geez, oh, that machine gun. What the hang? Taking him down. No quad for Rafa. It's going to be Clock actually getting that pickup, but you can see that he's uh, kind of reacting to that quad. He really wasn't prepared for it. Going to be taking it back to base, hoping to get a little bit of health, hoping to get a little bit of armor. Of course, the Mega won't be up for a very long time. Going to be handing it back over to Rafa. Who, and this is, again, that shift from a fully stacked defensive Rafa going full on quad with a full stack of armor. But man, making it through mid here is incredibly difficult. I got to see what sort of damage he does, but once again gets caught up in the fight, rail down to mid. Yeah, lovely stuff there from Zero Four. Just dodging those rockets and stopping Rafa in his tracks. And again, it looks like Welp are slowly getting edges. They're getting edge, more edges on yeah. the. Uh, oh, <laughs> just looking 
on West for some nice minutes there. But they're getting edges, moving into the enemy base. They're getting edges on the Paris, but they're just shy. They're just shy of that little extra push they need to get a flag through mid and all the way home. It is also scary, you know, letting Rafa, you know, expose himself so much in mid. I mean, he's the guy, you know, you're looking to be your wall, your defender, and deploying him in an offensive role is certainly worthwhile. I mean, he's going to be stacked. He's going to have med kit. He's going to have everything he needs. But if he dies, it sort of leaves a gaping hole in your defense for a little while. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of pressure to, to do the same to the opponents with that quad. And I guess that creates an equilibrium. Yeah. But that is, that's... It's like in, in Jewel, there are certain spawns where your your spawn's not terrible, but you have to be the one that hits the shots. And right. that's the pressure right there. And it's the same here. It's a risk unless you hit those shots. And I wonder if 2014 are going to buckle eventually because it looks like well are getting closer and closer. And it is quite scary to see how stacked Rafa is, even with a med kit as well. And see, as we switch to side, give we've seen most of what just sort of hanging out in base here for the last 30 seconds or so. But yeah, you're right. It really comes down to being able to make those shots, but it's a uh, Sometimes it's sort of hard to make those shots after a Friday night. <laughs> it certainly <laughs> is, and especially a Quake on a Quake on Friday night. And you know, well, actually, speaking of Quake, I mean, they got balls. They'll be fine. Yeah, they'll yeah, be yeah. fine. I certainly hope so. But we got Clock on the flag right now, making his way back into mid, narrowly avoiding that rail back into base. And this is going to be a very clean one, actually. You have a lot of fighting, you have a lot of dirty flag grabs, but when you have the clean one, it's almost over before nice. you know it. That's going to be well picking it up, tying it up one-on-one. -on -one. And we've actually got Rafa right after this, taking the quad, taking the flag, going to be taken down. But the flag's still going to be up there. It's going to be ID getting the pickup, and man, if there's anybody I would like to have on the flag, it's going to be ID. Oh, yeah, certainly. And, you know, that was exactly what we were talking about as well. I can't believe they made another quick cap there, but... That was exactly what you said. You leave that gaping hole. You know, Brick was the player that was super stacked, their defender. Rafa just cut through him like a hot knife through butter with that quad. And their defense was just gone in a matter of seconds. It was far too clean. And that opened up to not just one cap, but two. Like, right. that is, that's a big, big deal. And well, we've been looking better and better since that first, uh, well, that initial cap from 2014. Now things start to get really tough because what 2014 are doing clearly isn't really enough. And actually, I kind of want to say that uh, that Welp strat there sort of mimicked what we saw a lot of uh, out of Welp yesterday with the Hank, you know, going for the flag right before items come up so that you can put a lot of pressure both on mid and have a clean escape through there. So that really worked out well for, for Welp there. Two on one now. It's really turned around drastically, but we've still got seven and a half minutes left on the clock. Gonna look around here a little bit, see who's moving in a bit. It's gonna be the hang, actually. The little bit of armor gonna be holding down some uh, some dudes, but it's gonna be ID cutting through both of them with that LG. But it's not gonna be getting very far. Man, there's so many deaths in mid. It's just so difficult to get into base. Yeah, and and again, that that that's actually a, a great um, that's a great point about this style that we're seeing from both teams. Again, bringing up the point of getting the really stacked players to move into mid, because that's really the only way that you have a chance to get through mid after picking up a power up. So. That is, uh, I love how that brings the, the focus to the action. And we're about to get that focus again as the quad spawns. And Rafa's there, but Clock is going to get the pick up. Wow. It does get dropped. Rafa picking it up again. Oh, hitting great geez. rails, keeping himself alive, keeping the quad in the possession of, well, in goes Id now on the top level with a double kill with that LG. Looking at another one onto Brick. They're Clearing all falling. The entire base. Wow. He's got a lot of LG left and he's on target to hang, taking on down. Nobody's going to have much except for Machine Gun here to hang, trying to make it happen. But, you know, four players Machine Gun can actually go a long way. Zero Four finally pulls him on down there. And right at the entrance of the flag, that run is shut down. It almost felt like uh, that it was playing the xylophone there with the kill beeps, <laughs> you know? And making some music happen Absolutely. with the LG. That's the fun thing about this map. I mean, getting through mid is tough, but once making it into base, there's so many items to steal. There's so many corridors to kind of hide out in. There's a lot of time you can waste on your opponent's side. So it is, and I mean, the thing is, is again, you know, we are seeing gen. It feels to me generally well, but getting better pressure, they're getting more uh, map control overall. Um, but of course, it is coming down to those power-ups. So 2014 have every chance in the remaining six minutes to have the same result as Welp on one of these big plays on mid. Uh, when those quad, it, the quad is spawning, Brick, you know, he's going to be key, 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 key to make that happen. So far, Rafa's <laughs> been so dominant, and it's, yep. it's, it's that's why you, you have him in that position. Actually, what's uh, Brick's KDR at this point? We haven't seen him really deployed in mid all that much. You know, I'm taking a look at him now in a defensive role, but uh, has he actually died all that often? 
Rafa's on 36 kills for 10 deaths at the moment. So Rafa it has a great amount of survivability. And Brick's actually got 14 deaths, wow. And, and that's amazing just because yep. Rafa's been deployed out in mid and on the offense much more often. Actually taking a look here at Rafa right now, he's stacking up, well, 80 and 80 at the moment, but we have Quad coming up in 10 seconds. He's going to have a bit of an upper angle on this. Might see some rails coming out of him. He's going to be clearing it off. Can't quite hit that last one. Can't quite clear the quad pad off, and everybody knows that Rafa's up there. They want to make sure that he's neutered as a problem before the quad even comes up, but he's going to be taking breakdown just on top of it. Waz getting the pickup. Everybody's, everybody's going to be down in the middle now. 0-4 trying to get out of there, getting the hat off to Waz. And yeah, this is just going to be keeping that quad away from Rafa, but eventually this needs to turn into tying it back up 2-2. Two two. And Brick going to get the hand off there of that quad, running a decent enough stack. He's going to be quick there, taking down clock first and trying to make his way through the middle. And this is uh, pretty interesting now because it actually has the flag and he's trying to get out to mid. This is going to be very difficult. Clock actually getting the pickup of that quad, but oh, it is making, making away his way the steel through. Armor is actually quite big for him. Everybody found out where he was after that fight with the hang, but now he's back through. No rails coming his way, just a little bit of machine gun assess, but he can make it back onto the flag and make it three on one. And there you go. Welp just seemed to just have another level to the game after the first few minutes. And 2014 struggling to respond. I mean, if it wasn't bad enough that the quad situation was causing absolute havoc and that they were all focused on that, you right. get the sneaky play behind the lines of, from it. So great stuff coming in now from Welp. And it's, oh, uh, no. Oh, dear. Are we having Internet. a te technical issue? Uh, it's, like actually it's not supposed to happen on land. It really isn't. He could totally log on to focus. <laughs> uh, that echoes uh, <laughs> last week. We had a bit of a kerfuffle with, uh, with Saigib getting that CTF tournament done. But this is actually a great opportunity to talk about these last 3 minutes and 45 seconds. We've got two caps for 2014 to pick up on this map. It's entirely doable. In fact, we saw Welp's first two caps happen in just the space of one minute, you know? Yep. So oh, Saigib actually timed out there. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely what, what, you know, from watching the game, what I expected. I mean, we kept seeing better pressure and better control of mid and more. Just everything was just a bit better for Welp. Yeah. And they kept creating opportunities. Eventually, the caps are going to happen. We only see, uh, saw, just saw that one cap where it wasn't 100% just a power up run fight. straight in and out with the, with the flag, Three, but more two, to that. Basically, one, the pressure Welp were putting in on mid and in the base was just too much at once right. to deal with. Uh, 2014, they needed to have all their focus on one place and they just couldn't handle it. And it's really interesting to look at, again at Rafa's stats because, um, like you pointed out, we're seeing him push into mid every single time. And he's only got 11 deaths and we're at, what, 16 <laughs> Which is minutes amazing in? amazing given that knowledge, you know? Yeah. And, and once again, this is actually Welp's pick. Uh, we're actually going to see the next one go into Stonekeep. And that's where we really saw the uh, the heavy metagame come out of the hanging yeah. crew over on the 2014 side of things. That, that's where we saw a lot of the mix-ups in mid, a lot of the you know really critical timings between when Prepare quad spawns and when you're you're making the push Three, into the base, and two, of course getting lost in that base, one, going into a lot fight. of hiding. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 But it looks like we got Psychic back here. It's gonna reset his uh, his KDR, which is uh, nice. But uh, it, I think what this means, by the way, is that Rafa's died in base defending his flag right. maybe like three times or something. Mm -hmm. So that, that reminds me of Zarynx's immaculate flag defense play. And, and we saw that Rafa was under the only other flag defenders that could come close to what Zarynx was able to accomplish um, of the unknown team, of the, the Europeans there. So it is giving him time to pull double duty here a little bit to hang, trying to push in actually. Going to keep my eyes on him a little bit. It looks like he's been trying to shift gears into a little bit more of a pressure role. In fact, he's moving right back into taking away Rocket Launcher. But man, going down the wrong quarter, everybody's already there. But that's actually really valuable intel for the rest of 2014 to pick up on. And 0-4, really, really stacked there. He is going to make his way over to the quad surely soon. The quad is spawning in five seconds, just getting the last amount of shards. We can see his team trying to take control of mid, but there is a contestation. Sai gives so good, but in goes 0-4 with that quad pickup, just annihilating the defense. Rafa goes down, it goes down. They're all falling in the wake of 0-4's quad run. Can he clear? Can he punch? a hole through their defense. Can they get that flag out? It's going to be Brick actually on the pickup. Clock is uh, making good advantage of this and making sure that he's putting some pressure on the flag as well. Making it difficult for 2014 to get back out, but it's going to be the hang there with the pickup still. Still a lot of time left on this quad, making it back in the mid. He's got a little bit of mega left over. Doesn't want to get pushed into the water, and here we go. This could, well, this could change things quite a bit because we've still got, what have we got on the other side? We've got Clock on the flag. Oh, the cross still situation. This is 
This is such bad news here for 2014. Really they do is. not need a cross or situation. This is one of those spots on CTF where you can kill insane amounts of time with this. It can be very frustrating to deal with. Waz going in with a rocket jump. Great defense there. So the support for, for Welp has been fantastic so far. And Clock is really getting his stack going. And this is a free ticket for Welp to really collapse back into base. Make sure that Clock is completely covered at all times. At least until the next quad. Oh no, but here's Brick sneaking in. Clock really can't dodge anything down here in the water. This next squad is going to be trouble, but again, this is going to be 50 seconds that 2014 cannot afford to lose. <laughs> Being in the water then, LG people, maybe that's how it feels for Toxic just all the time. <laughs> uh, I think uh, Quake Live needs a uh, discharge. Yes, yes, <laughs> I, yes. Right here we Under go. Times, I mean, this yes. is going to be the final minute coming up here, but yeah, you're right. This is exactly what Welp wanted, you know, making it absolutely impossible for 14 to capitalize on this flag. Yeah, it's actually scary that this actually is probably the best case scenario for them. Clock getting, again, great support there. Rafa, the entourage, uh, are just doing a wonderful job. And 2014, they've only got one minute to make two caps. And how are they going to break this situation right now? Yeah, you know, I'm keeping my eye on Clock here because he has to die. <laughs> he must but die. Hang is actually you know, messing around with the camera a little bit by dropping the flag and picking it back up. Jeez, All man, men must die. He really wants, uh, he wants some of that camera play. But here's Rafa on the quad with a med kit. And this is just bad news, even worse news for 2014. I mean, not having the quad, not having the pressure on the base. This is the exact opposite of what they wanted. And this is a, a great way to see the game turn out. Um, well, again, initially <laughs> giving it away. <laughs> uh, just, final 20 seconds. Clock is just going to be chilling up by the pool. So then all lax. Lax is not cool. I like uh, yesterday. Uh, who was it? I had someone shouting in. Uh, was it one of the? I think it was Lincoln. It was probably he was, strength. No, it's Lincoln. He was. Uh, I think it was Lincoln. He was. Uh, he was in the water and he was like. He was shouting about speedos. Getting, get, he's getting my speedos on, something like that. Uh, but uh, that's. Blue wins. <laughs> well, it's there gonna we go. be three on one. Welp well, really played that just incredibly well orchestrated. Yeah, I. Th I mean, we saw we see Saigib actually kind of on the bottom there because you know he lost his KDR having the disconnect issue, but right, right. Uh, I felt like he wasn't uh, at the forefront a lot. We saw him he, he, you know, working behind the scenes. He was doing so much good work in mid when I was just swinging through the players. Yeah. So a lot of props to Saigib as well for helping them get a much easier time through mid. So all of the players really pulling their weight there. And generally speaking, um, I'm expecting, well, I mean, they look better right now. How, but on this map, Sonki, what do you think is, is going to actually happen here? Oof. Well, of course, this, this is going to flip things around a little bit here. It's going to be 2014 on Stonekeep. And I was incredibly impressed seeing what DeHang and crew were able to pull off yesterday. Uh, and of course, I, I put a little bit of focus on DeHang just because he was the one who was uh, making the sort of staggered plays against the flag. You know, Clock was pointing a lot of that stuff out, and it was incredibly good knowledge to have, especially on a map that's this large, has this much variety, has so many variables, you know, with moving into mid, with moving yeah. into the flag base, with being able to steal away armors and being able to put pressure on the yellow up front. and. There's so much going on in Stonekeep. I, lo I just love the, the scale of it, just the, the possibility for movement and like great wall clips and everything. It's really nice to see. <laughs> and uh, just before we actually get into this game, I'll remind you guys that you know you may have seen Intel uh, giving away an SSD yesterday. They're going to do the same thing again today. Really? So cool. you know, just keep your eyes peeled. They'll be around a bit later and to, to be dishing out some SSDs. Yeah, I heard they were throwing them out like they were Pringles or something. Like They're just giving them away. I want an SSD. Yeah, uh, yeah. Where, where, where's ours? You know. <laughs> I want an SSD. I think anyway. there's one of this in this computer. I might be able to like uh, get a ah, screwdriver. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> and again, also, it reminds me. Thanks to PC Parts Picker for helping us out here, getting this tournament or making it possible. And uh, this map, by the way, it looks. Uh, it just looks fantastic. I think it, lo it has oh, the best man. aesthetics of all the new ones. Oh, absolutely. And uh, you know, Adam and crew really. Uh, putting a lot of work into these CTF maps. There's a lot of love with knowing, you know, exactly where each armor has to be to mm -hmm. make it, you know, risky for, for someone to venture out and grab, but still really useful for someone to come in and steal. And really, you know, important geometry around the quad and making sure that it's also risky to grab and make sure that when you have the quad, it's going to be a huge fight to get out of the mosh pit and actually make some real use out of it. But yeah, Stonekeep is, uh, is grade A stuff. It certainly is. And are you, make, are you a map maker at all? 
Uh, do, you dab, do you dabble? I, I I dabble way more than I would like to. I would like to do more than dabbling. But do, uh, is it easy to get into? I mean, is, is, do you think this is like a the, good the creative? tools are really good? You know, yeah. uh, Timo is uh, has been supporting GTK Radiant. All of the you know id tech uh, mapping tools have been very well supported over the years. There's a lot of options, which is actually maybe a problem. But there's so many good tools out there and yeah. so many good assets. So you feel uh, like it's a good creative outlet because, because oh it, it seems, yeah, I, I mean, mean that, that's that's the other half of why Quake is Quake yeah. is because. You know, users were able to you know make their own mods and make their own maps and and really you know pour into the art of it. And if you go to like uh, levelworld.com, there's still new content coming out there all the time, mm. and which makes it easy for its software to go, hey, this is this is really talented stuff. Let's make it a uh, let's make it official. <laughs> but here we go, officially starting 2014 Three, versus Wealth two, on 2014's one. pick. Definitely a match point here for Wealth. 2014, they've got to do it on their pick. They get a huge map to do this on. Really looking forward to the Wazzle Dazzle in this one. And I won't make any more jokes about his Wazzle. I was going to say, damn, dude. We're going back a ways, aren't we? <laughs> All right, but uh, Waz right out here in mid. We've got the hang actually making a bit of a push here. Waz looking for a little bit of damage in mid, but he's, he's got a rail. I mean, it's useful in mid, but he knows what he really wants. He's at the cusp of putting some pressure on the base. Rafa coming up that jump pad, always an easy target, but Rafa on the LG, absolutely brutal. And we're seeing similar roles from all the players, I think, so far. We're going to see Psygip for Welp just pressuring in the mid, keeping things under lock and key there. Uh, but we're actually seeing a really good presence there from 2014 at the moment. So Raz pushing in and giving Zero Four that ability to get that pick up. And it looks like we're going to see Brick getting it now. It's just trading players constantly. Finally, the hang dying. gets it out of there. Everyone Jeez. wants a, a grab at the Mega. The Mega? The Quad. Did Rafa make that rail from the flag room? Jeez, that was incredibly long long range. Yeah, Waz Zoom is going to be helpful in this Quad one. and regen. Waz is actually in a really good state to actually make a bit of a push here. Now, of course, everyone's going to be a, a pretty first spawn. We saw a lot of decimate. Everyone's going to be in base with weapons by the time that Waz gets in here. It's going to be very difficult for Waz to get in and out unnoticed. The thing I really love about watching Waz play is not just his like really clean movement, but he's actually got really six fighting skills to back it up oh, yeah. with, which is, which is such a bonus. Absolutely, he brings a lot of that TDM aesthetic to, uh, to CTF, which is a, a good benefit to have on your team. But yeah, like like I was kind of worried about, you know, it's really cool that Waz was able to go, hey, I've got you know another 10 seconds like what? I've got another 20 on regen, but everyone's going to know you're there. It's going to make it very difficult to make anything happen, but he still did a lot of damage, and you can see that mid is just a, a graveyard right now. It certainly is. And Looks like we're going to see clock speeding along as well. There's not much. Uh, well, okay. There's a fair amount of time till the the next quad. And again, that is always going to be the focus. I see if those power ups the teams return. getting on those, building a run from it. And as long as the defenses are solid, generally speaking, that's where we're going to see all the big plays, and that's where yep. we're going to see the difference made. So, and also we're going to see awesome runs from Waz just at 100 miles an hour. Yeah, in some ways, I mean, mid in this map is, you know, it's fairly clean. There's not a whole lot of congestion. There's plenty of room to, you know, pick up some speed and really get through there all that, you know, very, very quickly. So unless quad is up, it's not the most dangerous place in the world. A lot of this map is more focused on defending the base, defending the basement where, you know, you have the Alarm or where you have the Red or you have the Mega. And making sure that none of that really goes south. But with quad coming up, everyone's going to be down the watch pit. The Hang wants to be in this party, but he's not really got anything to bring to the fight. But he still manages to pick up a... Machine gun frag. We actually saw a really strong push from Waz into that base just before the quad was spawning. Rafa lost all of his stack and now there is no clean pickup for Welp and Waz is actually able to, in the end, grab that quad. So that push, that aggression just before the quad spawned, that made this possible for 2014 to get this pickup. They've got to turn it into something, but this is a great way to begin wow. it. Wow, what a great response from 2014 there. I mean, that quad was being pushed into the base at just a really awkward time. It was still a point of a lot of chaos where that quad could really do a lot of damage in base, but they responded well, got him trapped with a lot of rails. Yeah, I, I'm actually quite scared for Welp, actually, because Dahang has been making some nasty plays into, into Rafa's face, basically with those, uh, those med kit pickups and taking those fights, just trying to get the damage in. It's actually been really effective. And uh, 2014 so far, I feel like they're, they're looking a little bit better. And that's, I guess, what you should expect on their, their home pick.
One would certainly hope so, but Rafa sneaking, well, I'm sorry, back into his home base here. But looking to stack back up and once again sort of gets a reset he was looking for. But Waz moving him, himself in, getting completely shut down by Rafa. Taking a look here at Waz on the respawn. He's actually going straight back in to where he came from. Trying to take away this lightning gun room, but it's going to be difficult without that spawn being up there. There it is. And he might just be going for a little bit of harassment here. What? What? Oh, right. okay, yeah. <laughs> You gotta Jeez. love the kill feet thing. Yeah, though. this is great. Which one do you use? Do you use the cha -ching? tank? Tank, tank, flank, tank. With this really nice metallic. Yeah, nice. But it, since Quake, I, I think I'm becoming more enamored with the ding. It's yeah. on me like a mole. To hang with the flag right now, doing a ton of damage here, down to 32 health, making mid incredibly dicey, especially since everybody is there to meet him. Making machine gun even a deadly weapon there. Yeah, I mean, again, we're seeing these pushes, these solid pushes coming in before the major power was spawning. We're seeing Quad in five seconds, and I'm just going to quickly swing through. So who has the stacks on the map right now? Absolutely no one. These pushes have removed <laughs> yeah. any certainty at all from this pickup. It's going to be the hand to get the initial grab. He needs oh, the support, geez, and it is fantastic. He gets it towards his side of the base so they can get a teammate to grab it. Rick going to get the pickup. But still looking at those long range shots, missing, and it doing a surprising amount of damage with that MG. But I don't know, a Jeez. lot of time is being killed on the quad here. And uh, Brick was trying to do so much damage there in mid. I mean, quad rail is uh, an easy ticket if you can make your hits. He's only hitting 40% right now, unfortunately. And, only uh, 40. <laughs> we see Brick, you know, not able to do too, too much. They're just falling back to the base, restacking, returning to his regular role as the flag defense. And uh, Rafa actually is having to hang running into him again, trying to just eliminate his stack. But Rafa, uh, you know, he's doing well with his defensive setup. The support is going pretty good over there. But look at how annoying the hang is being. Every yep. time Rafa builds up his stack, the hang keeps putting him within the the limiter or the close uh, with the close absolutely. Of and death. with the with these quad timings, it's almost the opposite of of TDM, where you want to make sure that you're really stacked up, that you're ready for the quad more than anything else. Here, we're just seeing a lot of harassment right before the quad. Exactly. That when everybody's attention is on that quad, you're in there harassing the base, or at least stealing an armor, stealing a YA or something. And that's uh, that's really difficult to pull off. You noted, you know, in the last round that when the quad was coming up, nobody had any weapons, nobody had any stack. It was just yeah. incredibly messy. That's a that's a really great counterplay because you because you by doing that you you sacrifice that uh, that that sure thing maybe of having a stack guy to go into the quad and get that pickup. But what you're also saying is, well, we're better when the quads aren't right, spawning. Right. We're, we're better if you're the quad guy and you don't get it. No. You know, you're, you're in a bit of the doghouse there. <laughs> and it, it, they probably feel like, look, you know, our opponents, well, they're going to they're make it happen with the Paris. Let's just, let's not let them play that game. Let's just <laughs> remove those stacks. Let's make it a gamble. And it's, it's exactly what won well, well the last map. Exactly, yeah. So we have it coming up. I've got my eyes on 0-4 here. Quad's going to be up. He's going to be handing it over to Waz with only, well, 8 health. But he's going to be moving back into their own base, looking for a little bit of a handoff here on Brick, who is ready for it. He's got weapons. He's got stack. Can he make it through here? The LG coming from Clock is going to be a little bit brutal. Also that rail, but man, ID getting pulled on down. Brick can make it, but coming over the top here is always a little bit dangerous. I mean, it's the quickest way to the flag, but like any good CTF map design, the quickest way is also the most dangerous. Oh my goodness, that one rail onto Rafa would have been really, really key. That's all it takes, but then the, the following aggressions on that flag to mean everything, to turn into a cap, but missing those two rails really big missed opportunity, but still plenty of time and still 0-0, zero, zero, so no major pressure on either side. Yeah, I mean, this has been a, a very stalemated game here so far, you know, almost halfway into it, and we see just another reset, but we've got ID on it now, sneaking in right after the mosh pit, right after all the chaos, when nobody knows what the heck is going on, but here's Brick to figure it out and take the flag back home. Nice, and you know, we need to see the lives of, or rather, 24, oh sorry, well, need to make sure that 2014 don't have a comfortable ride. They need to make sure that they aren't able to get a single cap here at any point. And obviously that goes without saying, that's how CDF works, that's how you win. But it is of course match point here for, for Welp. So the pressure is really on top of 2014 now. And the longer the time goes on, the more they're going to call into question, is what we're doing actually working here? Oh, absolutely. And I have to say, I mean, these must be incredibly strenuous and stressful maps for these guys because watching some of these yesterday was just 
it was downright frustrating, you know, not being able to make something, you know, really come off the yeah, way you yeah. planned for 20 minutes at a time is just incredibly stressful. It was great staying behind some of the players because they, you could hear them just screaming the frustration because every time it's just, it's the game of almost, it's almost make it happen. And the quad coming up once again, but this time we have a pretty solid stack on Brick there, trying to clean out mid. We've got ID on the quad now. He's going to be coming back into base, might be looking for a drop off here unless he wants to stack it by himself. But no, it's going to be Rafa, but he doesn't have a whole lot even after that Mega. He's going to have to burn a lot of this quad. Just, well, he might not actually even go anywhere. I mean, Red Armor's not up. There's nothing for Rafa to get. There's nobody to give it to. So this is just a way to kind of reset things yeah. and make sure that they can stack back up. I really like that. It, it it's Of course, there's not much time left. It kind of mitigates the the possible dangers that Rafa faced by having a, a window where he wasn't stacked. The quad gives him the equal footing to any stacked players coming in to attack him. So setting up that good defense again, looking for the players in the base, Rafa going to spot them. That regen will keep him alive. But can he deal the damage back? It hangs so annoying. Absolutely. I mean, that's what I loved about him yesterday, and he's playing a lot of the same thing today. But everybody seems to be kind of... Uh, up and in touch with that strategy now. You know, I don't see Rafa really getting surprised by the hang very often. Yeah, definitely a lot of the new with the new maps that that is a big factor. Those surprises. It's like, whoa, yep. I haven't seen that before. And uh, I think they are getting used to Dang's tricks, of course. So let's see how this goes now. Actually, taking a look at the hang, he's able to take down Clogby. We got Saigib there taking a little bit of LG, finishing off with the rail, but. It's two frags, but it's also two guys who know exactly where you were just a second ago, and Rafa's ready for him. Take him down once again. So we got 30 seconds to quad, and the last few maps that, that I've seen here on Stonekeep, you know, the quad was sort of, you know, a factor, but it wasn't the factor. Here between these guys, it may just be the deciding item. And it's, uh, again, good for 24 to see for 2014. Their defense has been more solid so far. Less damage is, is being hit onto Brick, and his stacks are being... Uh, maintain better and the hang's gonna make a quick steal and again just before the quad is happening and Rafa's gonna be coming in to, towards the mid here pretty soon to try to deal with this and there goes Saigib with the pickup the flag is returned and that was pretty close there they got that pretty far into mid it's gonna be Saigib taking a lot of frags out of here but again it's just a lot of damage in mid that might not actually mean all that much well that might let Clock sneak in here, actually. I mean, again, having all that attention to mid is worth its weight in gold, but he can't get very far. He took so much damage just getting to base, he certainly can't get out. It's so awesome to see that the way that 2014 up just pushing away the, the attention onto the flag just before the quad spawns so that lesser stack players can come in quickly sweep the quad away. But they were able to watch those games yesterday, so I, I think they figured it out. I mean, we certainly talked about it enough, so we might have given away the, uh, the big secret. But that's going to make these next eight minutes incredibly tense for both of these guys. So, Block, moving on through, he was able to steal away red armor, which is, you know, even if the flag dies, it's actually a bit of a, of a win for them. But with ten health left over, uh, no, Zero Four is going to take him on down. Nobody else was really there in mid to make sure that it was going to be clear. He wasn't even able to ask anybody, hey, I'm about to come through the door, can I do it? <laughs> Uh, but look at the standoff, 0-4, the flag's going to be down in mid, and everybody's going to be there, of course, for the return. I think it's just, I'm just cycling through the players, and we're actually seeing a, another situation where chaos is, is rife, because, I mean, the, no, no one has any stack, you know, Brick doesn't have any stack, Rafa is without any stack, Brick's going to get a bit of a hand with the regen and the support from his teammate Zero Four 4 there, but things aren't going so well looking on the other side. For Rafa, the defense is going to be quite uh, softened at this point, he does pick up a red armor, but he's still quite low. And the quad is coming up in 20 seconds, so I wonder if 2014 are going to make another aggressive play. What is the hang up to right now? Let's go take a look here. I mean, he's been in the position of this, again, a lot of harassment. But Sai gets coming down on, on him here. Gonna be able to take him on down. So I, I really want to see what he does after a given spawn. You know, just yeah. take a weapon, you know, hold down forward and go for it. I mean, it's kind of awkward for him because he died right before a quad came up. So he's going to. He's got to pay attention to that now, but we've got a bit of a touch on the flag. We've got Brick on both the flag and the quad. He's taking this jump pad, though. That's such a frustrating jump pad. You have to you know, be so vulnerable for such a long time, comparatively. Wow. <laughs> Two oh, players coming to jump pad at once. There's the hang on the flag. It's going to be handed back over to Waz. It's going to be going back into base. 
and it's going to be safe there. Nobody's going to be there to take it. It's going to be 2014 taking the first flag. Jeez. But look at this pressure coming out. Whoop doesn't want to let that flag go uncontested for very long. That's been a long time coming. 2014 finally making it happen with the cap. And I've got to say, I'm not too surprised, but Clock, he's been quite a nuisance. Keeps getting these D flags, not wow. quite getting it out so many times, but it is such a frustrating position to constantly deposition the defenders. And well, coming in again, they're trying to make that aggression work, but not going so well for them. Rafa now, he's had enough. He's just going to yep, go this in is with Rafa this region. Oh geez, 0-4 taking on down, and you can see that 0-4 has been so good at sort of the uh, base entrance defense, and taking him down is going to be a huge step forward for Rafa. Psychic gets a pickup, he's fairly stacked, he's going to get the rocket jump up, 0-4 goes to block, and that will be the flag return, but that was a yep, close Rafa one. Rafa was still there though, he wasn't taken down before the other flag runner was taken down, so that means he can escape back through mid, and it looks like he's actually got some support here, you know, rail or no rail, I think ID could get the pickup and make it back all the way to tie it up. Oh, and well get the tie. I can't believe it. Rafa's stuck in the base with 13 health. That's like two cells of LG will kill him, <laughs> and they just leave him there. I'm sure he'll I'm sure be fine. He's, he's pretty weak. But there you go. That's the power of distraction in CTF. It's, yep. it's such a big deal. So that was uh, a really interesting play, sort of a weak grab going out the front door, getting everybody to pay attention to him. Rafa was still there, ready to just sneak back out the rear. We're going to ferry that power up all the way back to the red side of the map for his teammates to pick up. Waz going to get it. Yeah. No stack for him though. Just going to give it to Brick. That seems fair. Oh no, but Brick is going to die himself. He's only rocking 45% rail at the moment. I mean, I, I think uh, the effects of last night need to be factored into here a little bit. I mean, we were just seeing insane rail and LG all day yesterday. It's a little bit different this morning. It certainly is. Why is still running around with that quad? Always dangerous no matter what his help is like. Gonna, there's not, no, no one in mid really, I'm just here, just chilling in mid there. Gonna make his way back towards the base to help try to clear out Waz again. Waz very quick on these attacks. And the hang now gonna present a bit of a, a well, he's just always annoying, just wow. up in the face of the base. Gets that steal on the region, that's really a massive deal. Usually Rafa's been on point picking up those regions. He's gonna steal away the Mega as well. The hang is being so damn annoying. There's gonna be no resources left, maybe. Maybe, just maybe, a red armor, but Dahang has done so much work, he might just get this flag out. Rafa trying to Jeez. stop him, but he can't do it. Yeah, this is really big. The hang needs to back out, but man, taking away both region and the Mega, this is an annoy, annoy Tron 3000. <laughs> I mean, really huge kudos to Dahang. I mean, that's a lot of time wasted on Welp side of things. That's a lot of time that they're not paying attention to mid, not putting any pressure on their base. That's a lot of momentum generated there for 2014. If they keep the aggression going in very, very hard and get you know some good shots off, they're going to constantly keep that defense really, really weak. And then that's going to have a huge knock-on oh. effect to the quad that the spawns wall. in 20 seconds. That should, that should go to, to 2014 pretty handily. It's going to be picking this up and actually the region coming up just before the quad. This is actually kind of huge, but ID is going to be down there as well, doing a little bit of what dehang has been known to do. That's going to be 0 4 and break on the flag itself. Two seconds to it. And look at this guy down there, just throwing down rails. But we've got a lot of damage coming up on this regen. Quad is going to be up. It's going to be Rafa getting the pickup. And going straight in for it. That means the hang is dead. Rafa can come in here. He's got support. Waz coming up that jump pad, but 0 4. Incredibly accurate on his rails, actually. At least in that fight. But Brick is now going to have the flag here. Clock as well. It's going to be very short lived. The hang picking up the quad. But we still have Welp out there. Oh, it's going to be machine gun down. It's going to be the hang with three seconds left on the quad with his flag. He's got 36 health left. Can he make it all the way back in? He's got Timus behind him to keep him covered to prevent that meat shield. That's going to be two on one for 2014. And again, that was really nice. I mean, that was <laughs> chaos. The yeah, flag chaos, quad yeah. out as well. But we saw these attacks coming in where they were just distracting him right before, like a brick got blocked actually initially to actually getting to quad uh, so it was like initially a free quad for well and then uh, i mean it was madness but uh, yeah two flag pushes at the same time that quad comes up that's just a recipe for somebody's yeah. disaster it was really interesting but we see 2014 going ahead uh going ahead by one now and there's only two minutes left and i can't even believe we've been playing for 18 minutes <laughs> Wes down here doing some damage, gonna get that return. Psychic, I mean, he's doing the work. He's he's pushing in, he's making a lot of pressure happen, but we've got a minute and a half for Rafa to do what Rafa does. 
if he doesn't get caught on a wall here. Six health left for him, and there's the return, but no, no. Right, we've actually got a three-man relay here. Clock now getting some helpful LG from behind, but unfortunately it's to hang. And that LG is going to come with a health price. Indeed it will, and time is starting to run out here for, well, if they want to tie this game up, if they want to close it out in a 2-0 sweep in this grand final, Quake on 2014, they're going to have to find themselves a cap in the next 60 seconds. And that is going to be tough. Rafa's probably going to just go for it, get a stack and just run it. Then oh we've no. seen him do that pre in previously, but Tahang has made it out with a flag. Where is he going to go? He's going to dig a hole and, and crawl in it, I think. <laughs> He's going to try to find a way to just stay as hidden as possible. He's finally going to be found, but again, that burns a lot of time. Quad's going to be up, and psychic has got the grab here. He's got the pickup. That regen is tempting, but he's going to drop it off here. Oh, need to communicate that ID, getting both quad and the flag. Somebody else has hopefully got that regen. No, you take it. You take it. They don't have time for this, really. ID's got to make this push, but this is Waz getting away with the flag. And once again, this is incredibly dangerous, just like the last map. Sure, you've got time to make the cap, but can't do it if somebody else is running away with the flag. Yeah, so we need to see where the... Oh, but this is the huge... Oh, no. Where is everybody else? Jeez. Oh, oh the tie yeah. with eight seconds left to go. <laughs> oh, they make it happen. Man, that is going to push it into overtime. Two on two now. Zero four on it. I apologize. The... Uh, camera wasn't doing exactly what it was meant to do. <laughs> Jeez. I can't believe it. Going to the other on a sudden death here on Stone Keep. And this is 2014. They have to win this one or they're, they're done. Well, will just be the champions of 2014. And, and going through such adversity, going through that really hard for game, but they actually ended up losing initially against Unknown, the, the, sort of the European powerhouses. They've made it all the way. That's a story of redemption for them. But this could turn into something here. We've got Clock on the flag now. He's going to be down in the water. It's not going to be much more than harassment. But hey, leaving that flag in the water for a few seconds, no problem. I think Clock was able to communicate that, though, making it tempting for the rest of his team. Yeah, it's going to go back to base. So it's going to be really important for both teams to establish some strong defense here. We're seeing that Rap is get, you know, getting a pretty good stack going right now. But just you know, quickly swing on to the other, other side, you know, 2014 side of things. Uh, there... The Brick is not super stacked. He did just pick up the region, as we can see, but he's not really running with any armor at the moment. And Quad is coming up. This could be a pretty darn huge moment and a pretty big risk as well for Brick to just get all of his stack removed. He's going to actually back away there, trying to rail people off of that quad. Man. And he's hitting the shot. So important from Brick. It's going to be Rafa on the quad taking down Brick. I mean, if anything's going to do it after that region, it's going to be a quad rail. No problem for Rafa. Now he's going to have double power ups taken down 0 4 as well. And this is actually kind of big. Everyone's pushing out to mid. It's going to make it dangerous for them to make that fight happen against Rafa. Trying to do damage before he makes it into base because once you know that he does make it into base, he's going to disappear. ID getting a pickup as well. There is the D flag from ID. Going to go down though. The return is made by Brick. He's got himself a med kit, but nothing else. And it's a yeah, lot of pressure Rafa coming do this in. Before, you know, have ID or Psyche or somebody just do a junk rush on the flag to let Rafa get in on a better position. But that. Yeah, good, good uh, clean up there from uh, Brick. And we're getting that respawn delay. Yeah, that, that's actually really huge. I mean, it, it's where, maybe, maybe not so much on this map, but a map where you have a really heavy defensive player who's looking to die as little as possible. It really puts so much of the focus on them. Otherwise we would have, well, as you said, on some of the more defensive maps, um, we would have endless sudden deaths. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like I've enjoyed the last bit of that region. That's actually a region I, I think could be a really useful deployed out in the rest of the map, but it looks like yep. he's, uh, he's hanging out back here for the time being. Yeah, I mean, this is Rafa's stack. What's but, but he's Psygib? I, I don't understand what's happening here. Yeah, I mean, Rafa's, you know, sitting on a yellow. He looks like he's looking for something. Looking a little bit frustrated at the moment, actually. So Rafa's actually changing his role now. Yeah. And and that's that's surprising to see in the sudden death. Just and he's had a, had a quick team meeting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe he's thinking if he, if he can't do it right, you know, you've got to do it yourself. I don't know. Yeah, but we've had three minutes of this overtime so far. Brick is completely well off here. I mean, it's going to be incredibly difficult to take down, but there it is, Clock making it happen. Just as that Mega comes back up, that means that Clock can potentially make it. Nope, nope, nope. Zero four. Red flag. Return. Shutting him down. Zero four left pretty weak now, and Quad is coming up, and there's not a lot of stack for anyone on the map right now. Who knows what the hell can happen? Madness so far. Psyche gonna take it 
for a bit of a dip there into the water. And Quad going to get picked up now by Zero Four, stacking it up with that regen as well. But not a lot of time going to be left on this Quad to do much with it. It is tempting though, and it looks like Zero Four might try to push it anyway. But no, he's getting so much damage in nice. already. Nice rockets coming from Clock, but it's just going to aid Zero Four in his aim. Wow! Nice. That's a huge shot from Zero Four in the last seconds of that quad. That's absolutely clutch there. Side give running the stack for the defense there of Welp and DeHang going to be able to pick up that uh, that flag in the meantime. I mean, making frags at this point absolutely vital, like you said. I mean, with the six and now seven respawn delay. It means that Waz might just have a clear running into this. Oh no, here's a lot of machine gun coming his way. He's now railable, down to only 70 health. And oh man, who is this? this ID to try to take it down, but the clutch rail doesn't quite connect. Waz still trying to make it in. Rafa will be here though. He's the one man so that can make the difference. Run away with it. Can he get away? I don't even know. They're just barreling into him. He's able to escape into oh. He's got support. The rail's coming out. Two of them. That'll leave it open and ready for ID to pick up. Actually, here he is. Back at a base, and we've actually got overtime with a flag stalemate. Oh this doesn't happen. <laughs> the cross still coming in. Welp really wants to end it here, and 2014 are trying so hard to stop that from happening. And um, we're going to see Id picking up a mecha. He's, he's very stacked right now, and he's a very scary player. It's when the it comes time for Waz to get nervous. You know, you just go into the water for that med kit, and you realize, oh no, there's actually guys uh, shooting at me now. It's dicey. Rafa on a reach in, though. So just scooting around here, who have we got? We've got Waz here with this flag. He's, to be honest, he's not very stacked at all. He's got a med kit, but he's not looking nearly as good as the other uh, carrier, Id, who just palmed his flag off the clock. He's got no stack. And the quad's actually going to be in the hands of ID. Oh, this dear. is going to be the guy to watch here, actually. He's going to be the one hunting down that flag carrier, Swiggity Swooty. ID with a med kit in hand, plenty of quad, and he's looking around. He's looking in all well, the wrong places at the moment, but this is where the Mega oh. and the Red Wolf be, but he had an opportunity for it. It's not going to happen. It's going to take him down, and it's going to be 2014 taking it 3-2. to two. Oh, my God. They're just taking it down to the wire. There were wire. just too many things to watch all at once during those last few seconds. I was <laughs> just switching A quad the hunting the for the flag carrier. Flags on either side, fully stacked up with med kits. Too much going on in Stronghold. The tension is just... Insane. Man. I can't believe they actually managed to pull it off there. Well, they looked like they were just, I don't know, words. Words are hard. <laughs> they are. Words are hard. Uh, so fantastic, but also so close. It's going to come down to a tiebreaker, actually. And it's going to be, right. uh, oh, geez, I've got too many pieces of paper in front of me. It's going to be new Serb for the tiebreaker between Welp and 2014 for at least oh. his first set here. Okay, so so tell me who do you think has the edge on, on you? So we saw a lot of it. Serb yesterday. is so messy, it's so yeah. grindy, it's just uh, a face smashing into a brick wall until it's bloody and noseless and teeth have fallen out. Well. Nobody wins this map. <laughs> <laughs> this map wins you. All right, we saw actually, uh, this was one of my favorite ones to watch yesterday from some of the games we saw just because oh, yeah. of the, the madness on mid and just the mad dashes. We actually saw uh, Waz making some really sick caps on it as well. So looking forward to seeing something like that again. But I think these teams from what I saw yesterday again, uh, just really even. I don't think it could be a better map for these guys nope. to clash on for this tiebreaker in this grand final. This is, of course, for <laughs> QuakeCon 2014, the CTF grand finals. The winner is... Obviously, going to feel amazing because the competition this year was phenomenal. It's, it's. I don't know. Do, when do we have a competition as stacked as, as this year? Never. I mean, Dehang, you know, mentioned yesterday that this is probably you know the best outing he's seen for CTF uh, ever. And I, I think the more I see of this, the more I have to agree. This has been absolutely yeah. fantastic. I mean, the the level of of meta gaming going on here in terms of. When are you going for the flag? When are you going for power-ups? When are you just going for item steals? You know, I don't want to channel Serlin here, but it's just been, you know, trying to double guess the other team as far as you know what they're prioritizing in that given moment. And one, again, one of the the cool things on this map as well is is uh, it's. It is it's much the same. You have that focal point going into the power-ups into mid, but the mid is a lot different. It's, it's not nearly as open, it feels like, as yep. some of the other mids. It's, it's a lot easier to get messy. stuff going. It, it is really messy. You can, you can swoop on through very quickly. If you don't want anything there. Like, yeah. <laughs> and if nobody knows that you're there and they're ready with that rail, I mean, over the top, yeah, you're completely railable. If you're going down for the quad, congrats. Now you got quad. Now everybody's got a perfect vantage point to yeah. shoot you. It's I mean, at uh, least on Stronghold, you've, you've kind of got the high ground. And those who are below you, you don't really have to worry about them. 
in this map, once you have quad, you have to worry about everybody. Yeah, it's it's gonna be good. <laughs> gonna be good. Gonna be good. Gonna be good. <laughs> it's gonna be good. So, all right. I'm wondering I, what these guys are uh, are discussing here in the first few seconds before they all ready up. In fact, I don't ha see any F3s off of 2014. A little bit of a player meeting, do you mm -hmm. think? Yeah, it could be. I, I remember yesterday when I was hanging out um, back then the player edge, trying to you know watch some of the players listening and stuff. It was fun to hear Rafa just screaming, <laughs> at, just like telling everyone what to do. It was brilliant. Yeah. Just absolutely going nuts. Uh, so who who do you see making it? We need we need a prediction here. Uh, uh, of course, I. I'm it's been really hard for me personally during this entire tournament because I, I was a huge fan of EG back when EG was EG. And now EG is mostly here, you know, with the exception of, uh, like, Clamp OK. But they're, they're kind of spread out. Yeah. What happened to Clamp? I, Where, I, where's I Clamp don't at? Know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I hope somebody out there does. Yeah. Okay. Like his parents or somebody. Yeah, because yeah, he was always, always yeah. kicking around. Yeah. Uh, well, He was always late to things, but you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe nobody told him about QuakeCon. That is true. <laughs> and I will remind you guys again as, as well that uh, Intel will be along a bit later to uh, be dishing out the SSDs as they were yesterday. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if you're looking for some SSD action, then uh, you know, stick around. And of course, so you can follow them on Twitter at, at Intel SSD. And uh, you can also get notified on, on what they're up to, which is always good. I mean, cool. You can uh, get the tweet that, hey, we're giving out SSDs. And you can try to cram your way into the BYOC in the exhibition you know, center yeah. before, uh, before they're all gone. Definitely. I mean, you I mean, see somebody not walking out with an SSD and you think you can take them, you know. It's maybe. not quick unless you get some swag. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get some swag. Thanks for reminding me. I need to, I need to do that after this. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've, I've had limited time for, for slag, swag collection. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> Am I making this awkward feature? No, huh? no, no, it was just perfect. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a good night. Oh, I yeah. mean, I mean, we've got the uh, the bronze finals coming up after oh this God. for uh, for duel, be... both open and the, the masters, and then tonight's the big party. Oh yeah, I, I mean, okay, so let's uh, you know talk about the duel just a little bit because you know why not? We're going to see some more some CDF in a moment. Yep. So we have Evil versus Toxic, and Evil and Toxic were in the player area last night, just practicing, practicing, practicing. Actually, they're pl practicing against each other actually, yeah, just yeah. constantly for hours. And, and Evil's been the one you know who's been sort of billboarding a lot of events over the past several months. But man, Toxic just came out of nowhere. The crazy <laughs> thing is, is that oh, we're getting live. So we oh, can't here we go. Here we go. Oh, so we're going in. This is the decider between Welp and 2014 Three, to two, be the one. QuakeCon 2014 CTF champion. Maybe, maybe we're still looking at a at a double limb bracket here, so we've still got a lot to play for. Anything could happen. We'll be following 0-4 with Mega Health out of the gate. Take away Plasma Gun before making his way into mid room. Of course, everybody else has already got rail, so he's feeling a little bit underappreciated here. So, so last time I saw 24 playing this, I really felt like Brick was MVPing it up. His runs yeah. through mid with those stacks, phenomenal. 0 4 making some good, good work, cutting a hole through here over on the blue side of the map. And. I'm going to be very interested to see how this first power-up goes because it could just set the tone. I mean, Waz can be so quick. He can <laughs> go in oh and yeah. go out before you know what happened. They have a cap. So 0-4 though, what is, he <laughs> what is happening now? 0-4 is just going into the get mode. He really is. But we've got Rafa on top of the quad area here. He's got you know every weapon that he needs. He's down in it. He's committed. Taking out Waz with a beautiful shot. Brick is there as well. 0-4 barreling in as well as Dehang. Dehang took almost no damage in that fight though. He's only got Plasma as a really fresh spawn, so taking this quad back into base. Might be looking for a handoff. Going to be definitely looking for that regen. Brick's going, hey man, want to throw some of that my way? But no, Dehang, I, I think he's going to be the guy to watch on this. Yeah, just taking it slow now and uh, keeping it real. Dehang's keeping it real. Megas available, but he's graciously giving that, that back over to their defensive player. Coming back into mid, but sort of down below, it's, it's difficult to make it through mid alive from this position. Yeah, I mean, the, the best thing he could have accomplished, which is what he's trying to do, is just get a strong presence there, like give some breathing space to Brick, especially as Brick just had a lot of his items taken away. Um, he really has a responsibility to make sure that no one starts barreling his defense because he needs to, he needs to let Brick build up. And so I like that play there from the hang. I'm gonna see a D flag here from it. He's actually gonna make it out of there. He's got a med kit as well. Then the hang on the other side of the map yeah, is gonna pick up as well. Down here, but whoa, he's got 23 health. But really, I want to see what IED is picking up here. Back into uh, back into mid, and he's actually clean. He's through the door. He's still got med kit. He's still got 95 health. It's gonna take a lot of rails to make a problem for him. He's not even pausing for the yellow armor. He knows that there are enemies coming into base, and this is the time to cap. 
for a very quick one here on Welp. Wow, and that's that's what I was actually expecting to see from 2014. Uh, you know, they, they have the quick cap potential, but Welp going ahead here. <laughs> nades. Nades. Well, nades. Pineapples for days. <laughs> but yeah, as you we were saying, I mean, this has just been an amazing workout from Welp here so far, and hopefully 2014 hasn't fallen asleep since the last map. Yeah, kind of bracket get reset here. Yeah. But to hang on, a bit of a touch here. It's not going to go very far. Taking a look here at Rafa playing on his own flag at the moment. Just looking around here a little bit. ID with the med kit in hand. Being forced to use it right now. Oh, Zero for actually came with the jump pad. Like, what's going to happen? He's got a Psycho now on the quad. And even though he's down to three health, he's cleanly out of it. He's able to hand that off. Oh, this could be dangerous now. Rafa, he is going to go in right now to just destroy, decimate the defense. What is going to happen there for 2014? So like it's going to get a quick wow, e flag there. Okay. Yeah, this is actually a little bit of the opposite of what we saw in Stronghold, where the guy who's doing the junk run is actually making the run, and Rafa's just doing damage behind. But where is Rafa now? I must have died. I really don't know where Rafa actually went. <laughs> Well, quad is a precarious and fragile thing. The zero four, a little bit more stable on his regen, making his way back in. Uh, there's no mega to steal at the moment, but he's uh, starting to keep an eye out on the the flag room. Oh, but no, there's a rail out of Saigim taking him on down. So a lot of almost here. Yep, indeed. Here we go. We're gonna see ourselves some bricks stacking himself up, and with Quad a minute away, he's definitely gonna be thinking about that. That's that's really the end goal for him, and that's why I really, because we didn't see it so much. The teams were trying to stop the power up uh, right. takes, you know, before they get going, and and Brick. I think it's going to be absolutely key for Welp to get those attacks in and to just whittle his stack down before the power-ups are coming in. I think that's going to be really strong for them. And just skewing around the map again. I'm going to see what is going on as far as the stacks are concerned. Yeah, Brick is actually walled up quite nicely. Rafa, you know, he hasn't been able to do quite as much, so this next quad is going to be kind of crucial. This, this could be all Brick. There's no one else with any stack at all to speak of. And he's got 200 armor, 120 health. He is going to be looking pretty for this one. And as long as he gets the right support, moving into yeah. mid, get his teammates to clear it out a bit before he arrives, it's going to be hot stuff for sure. Taking away that yellow armor, only needing 10 points though. I mean, <laughs> there's a reason why nobody else has any stack on the map. Bricks is being greedy. But here's Quad, and wow, almost nobody else is there. What? Rafa showed up late to that Quad. He got the rail in. I mean, there's that. But man, now Bricks can just sweep through everybody. You were absolutely right. He was the one setting it up, and now he's executing. It's going to be shut down, though. Brick's still on it. Well, at least for the moment, until ID gets the pickup. But that, but that opens the door for Clock to move in, and he Brick was just there exactly. to do damage, to make pain, to make everyone bleed. And, it's and that now Clock is here to clean up. It's what we were talking about before. You know, you take that risk getting Oof. that flag defender in there, but now he's removed all the stack and health and weapons from the enemy side. They're not going to attack. Like, Brick has to restack. He's, he's vulnerable, but they're not going to attack. He just killed all the other teams. So they have to they have to make sure that they have the, their defense solid before they can worry about an aggression. So this really puts um, well behind a bit. So really great play coming in from 2014. And his teammates set up well. Cleaning out mid for him, and now the pressure is on. The hang is just unrelenting trying to get that push in, wow. but that choke point a little bit too much to deal with there. Uh, I has love to pull how the hang is just incredibly difficult to take down. I mean, even as a fresh bot, he's always a threat because he's quite good at, at picking his fights, you know, knowing where to back off just a little bit. You know, I'm starting to take some pain. I need to go back through this doorway. He's just really good at staying alive for way longer than he really should. Yeah, that's so, so true. And it plays people when they duel against him, that is for sure. The, <laughs> the awkward fights you find yourself in against the Hang. Oh my god. Absolutely. So taking a look here at Rafa. Actually, a fair amount of armor. Does it look like he's doing exactly what Brick was setting up for? Well, we might see that change here in the next few minutes. But Welp is still, you know, they're, they're still in a position where they can afford a little bit more on the defensive side. They've got the flag advantage, but with so much time left on the clock, they can't really afford to rely on that. That is for sure, and I, I mean, again, we're seeing a super stack brick, four to five seconds away. What have Welp got to, to say about this? To hang, they, they are just Jeez. destroying Rafa. The court isn't even up yet. Brick gets another one for free. He takes down it. His stack is still relatively intact here. Pushing on through, getting a glancing rail there in the side, but he is pushing forward, steals a regen as well, and he is just is murdering all of Welp in the blue side of 
the map. But what is happening right now? The grab coming for in him, as well. The flag is almost an afterthought here. Like, all right, fine. If everyone is dead, I, I guess I'll go for it. But now he's just getting a lot more attention. Oh man, <laughs> he's just hitting everything. This is seven frags on the quad. Everything's dropped. Has to hang on both the flag on the regen, and of course nobody's in mid. Everyone's going to be chasing him. The flags will be up against the wall. Break on the respawn. Getting the pickup. Waz there as well. 0-4 right behind him. Oh. It might take eight guys and eight deaths. But where's... Oh, no. Where did it go? It's going to be the hang on it. For the third time, I think. <laughs> Brick. Oh, my God. That just tells you everything you need to know. Brick just going insane. I can't believe it. He just couldn't die. Everyone else could, though. I mean, there were so many bodies that contributed to that flag run. I mean, the, the number of relays and deaths on 2014, picking up the flag and moving it two feet at a time. But because Brick had killed everybody, yeah. the, the attacks were only going to be coming from the rear. You know, was, as long as they could keep it moving forward, nobody was going to be able to cut them off. The nerd chills are really strong there for me. I mean, that was amazing. That's one of the I best caps we've seen. Brick just going next level to make his team have a chance to, to win this map. <laughs> so there's your 71% zoot. <laughs> oh man, so I, I think the entire server just uh, is taking a little bit of a chill pill at this moment. Like Nobody knows how to react to that. Everyone needs just a moment to cool down. But they've had a quite a long time because it's almost time for quad again. And um, Brick isn't quite as... Sta well, he needs he, to... He's ready. Rally. He's like, is he's it time to go sad. yet? Is it time to kill yet? Three, two, one. All right, let's do this again. Oh, nice. Oh, no, not, not this time, but that's actually really good for well. This is they, they just cannot afford. If they oh. didn't know before, they cannot afford to let 2014 get a quad for free. I mean, this map Excellent. has absolutely zero incentive to let anybody get a quad for free. I mean, sure, like Stronghold, it's up there on a nice platform. It's nice and pretty. Cool. Here, no, it's it's in the mosh pit. It's in a really terrible area. There's no reason someone should just be able to walk in, get a quad, and start doing exactly what Brick did. I'm really surprised that uh, we're not seeing a cap coming in here for Welp, actually, because Brick went in, he got destroyed, just instantly every bit of armor and health gone, and it was a, more or less a clean pickup. In fact, there we go, the flag finally making it out for Id, and the defense was so weak, but there goes the return for 2014. But there is the D flag instantly from Clock, he's just sitting on it. Can he get it out of there? That rocket helps massively. Needs the support from his teammates, they're not coming in. And another return, it is madness here on 2014's side, but I honestly think that for Welp not to get a cap, I mean, that is a huge, huge, you know, relief there for, for 2014 because I think they should have lost one there. Oh, absolutely. But that will still mean we're, we're only halfway through. It's still one-on-one. -on -one. Brick on the regen, though. It's interesting. I mean, we're going to see a little bit of a play from him potentially before anything comes up. Or, as wait may well be the case, Brick might just cool his jets until it's time for him to shine. But over on the other side, we've got Rafa actually stacked up quite well. Is anybody really, excuse me, making much of a push here before a quad comes up? Or are we really just staying extremely defensive before that time comes? I'm just looking again at all the stacks around the map. Rick is going to have a big stack again for, for the next quad. So I don't think, unless something, some big attack comes in in the next few moments, he should be safe. Rafa's looking pretty good. And, and the mid control for Welp is, is looking decent so far. So uh, a side gig with some stack on him as well. So it's looking like wow. Welp have a bit of an edge on the stacks, but it all comes down to those certainly. shots. Oh no, and this is Psygib looking to hero it up, just trying to take down Brick well before anything comes up. So there's Brick, but he dies. It's actually a huge benefit for Welp, especially as ID can take it away. Now looking to use his quad offensively, moving in on the flag. Psygib's going to have to reach in this goal, but ID will have his quad take it away. Three of them there. Oh, but that plasma from Bick, he's going to be taking it back. And it's going to be a shutdown run on Welp. This is just, you know... A complete reset. It just belongs on Brick. It's his precious. <laughs> I can always see the, the golem <laughs> thing going on there with the quads. I mean, yeah. it gives him special powers and everything. But the thing is, is that um, I'm quite surprised again that we didn't see a bigger result there for the Welp side of things because uh, 2014, they had Brick super stacked. Um, but And you didn't see a huge amount of resources on any player on Welp, but the yeah. distribution was really good. So yeah. that actually is going to give them a higher yeah, success Brick rate. Everyone equally. Yeah. <laughs> so that like gives well more of a chance to get the cord out of there or kill any enemy core carriers, but it gives them less chance to do something with it afterwards. Right. That's kind of the trade-off there. Now something that has been a little bit different here, we've been seeing Rafa play much more consistently on a close D, you know, 
position. We haven't seen him, you know, deployed much in mid all that often. Sure for a few rails on quad, but relatively few commitments from him. Yeah, definitely. So far, I mean, Brick has been very solid, and I'm not going to make any oh, weird... But Brick, just Brick doesn't jokes. say that, Rafa going, all right, fine, you want me to, to push out, I'm going to push out. This is Rafa, almost 200-200 that, well, at least he was until these rails happened. He's now shouting for a teammate, shouting for some support as he's forced back to the flag room. Not really where you want to be, but at least he can steal away yellow water. Ooh, he's going to need it too after that rock of Waz taken on down, but he's so weak now. He is still alive and kicking though. This is a lot of time spent alive. His teammates should be Jeez. with him soon. There he's got some support, but it is a bit too little too late there to help him out. Help get that flag into mid. And Quad is spawning right now, so that attack might have actually nice. sabotaged Welp a little bit. There goes Zero Four. Great LG, but it's not enough. It is going to make the clutch rail. Keeps himself alive, gets the med kit, gets himself back up to over 100 health with that quad. So it's still alive there for Id. And let's see what he's able to do with it. He's got two frags under his belt so far on the squad. Able to take down Waz once again. Excellent. Well, he's actually doing quite a lot of damage here, but there's uh, De Hang taken down again. But you know, we still need to take down the stacked players and ones with weapons. Zero four, there we go. And now we have a lot of pressure on the flag. They're making sure that they're ready to let Clock out of it. And look at this. He's got a complete escorted path back into mid. However, that makes me kind of worried about what mid itself is going to look like. This is a really scary moment here for 2014. Going to get the return though, so not quite yeah, I mean, scary then. On but one still. hand, sure, it's great to have teammates helping you to get into mid, but guess what? That's where your enemies are going to be. Yeah, they just, they just want this to be just be one best three, you know, very tidy, take it home. Uh, but well, they are here to play. So six minutes left on the clock here. Looking at Saigon, just waiting for this Mega. It's going to be a little while. He's got a good position, however. The clock here, making his way back in. And down below, looking to steal that regen to get it off of the hang. And there it is. This is actually both of them in there, ID and clock. Team I always like seeing here. The hang looking incredibly crazy on that LG. Clock is going, all right. Go for both sides. Just get it over with. Nice to welp though. He actually keeps the region alive and, and uh, the hang dies. So there's no really stacked players coming in for the defense of 2014. Wow. Oh, good work there. The hang does get the pickup, but Quad is 20 seconds away. There's no time really to stack up for, for Brick. He's losing all his stack. Nice. He goes down to the clock. Great fragging potential coming in here. He's going to get taken out shortly, but he's done so much damage. And again, Quad in 10 seconds. This should go to Welp, and they should get another opportunity to bring themselves ahead here. That was just really impressive coordination out of 2014. I mean, they were in the flag room for a while, but there was no moment where they weren't getting grasped from some new angle. As soon as they thought they could move two steps forward, they got pushed back really well communicated, but it's going to be another quad up, and it's going to be a, an incredibly messy one. Again, that's, that's why it surprised me so much that Brick was able to get away with those two so cleanly. Yeah. Because that's the way quad plays on this map, you know, it's just a massive, massive mess. So he's making his way in, going to catch Waz there with the LG, and still pushing further and further in. It's got quite a bit of quad left, but not the ammo to do anything with it. I'm going to pick it up, uh. get some key damage, but not more than that. So still just an... Big scramble for these power-ups here. Not much accomplished there, and we're still all tied up here, Jahar. We've only got four minutes until sudden death overtime. Once again, I mean, this is not, fortunately for us, this has not been a unique setting in the CTF tournament. So many maps have gone into overtime, so many maps have been just two on one or one on nil. It's like watching FIFA all over again. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Four minutes left on the clock here. He's going back in towards mid. He's looking for some of these long range rails. Looking for opportunities. Looking for somebody to give him a target. But it's not really coming along. Brick picking up a regen. It's actually been a while since I've seen Rafa really stacked moving into mid. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's been quite a long time. I mean, Brick doesn't seem to have a problem finding the mm. stacks, keeping the stacks going. But the, I guess the pressure from 2014, I mean, I guess Dahang, you know, he's been doing an insanely good job there. And we're getting these D flags left and right now. Right before this quad is spawning, 20 seconds away. And Brick with no stack, lots of pressure in on top of him. So this, this one should be up in the air. There goes the, the flag. Brick making it out with this one. Not much health, though. But can he get it? Red yeah, there you go. No more players rushing that was, in last uh, second. Just really well thought out. I mean, it wasn't uh, a huge mosh pit in the middle of this time. I mean, it was just really just one step at a time. 
Quads up, no one's taking the quad speed up. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that no one wants the quad. I'm gonna keep my eyes on Lazarus see how far he can get, especially in the face of everybody coming after him there on the mega spawn. And quad down again actually. So who's gonna grab that quad? It's gonna be Sai Gib with the quad hit, the regen as well. Sai Gib, he's got a lot of work to do, two and a half minutes left. They might not find a better opportunity than this on Sky Sai Gib right now, pushing in with his teammates. But there is the hang to try to deter them, but fortunately he's like a teammates here to help keep the hang off his back. He hasn't quite committed to the flag just yet. He's looking to do more damage down below. Waz taking on down as that quad runs out. Brick as well. The hang's going to be down there. Is he going to commit to the jump pad? Not so much. Keeping Saigib up here. And here comes the gauntlet. Brick just shutting him down. Cannot afford to stay up there any longer. Well, 2014 played that so well. They kept out of the way of Saigib. Saigib looking for those easy shots with the quad. They disappeared. They completely disappeared. They made the quad useless. And that was yeah. really in a really awkward spot. So really big plays coming in. Very smart cerebral stuff coming in there. And 2014 I mean, still won ahead. When you spawn and you're throwing machine gun against the dude with the quad, you know what's going to happen. But on the other hand, every second you can spend making him not, you know, moving forward towards your flag, the better. And right now, Club with a regen. And well, they have 90 seconds left now to tie this up. They did it before, and Clock going absolutely mental there. Gonna get the He's deep flag. The break taking it down. That's gonna be huge, of course. Wow, a lot of commitment to this uh, jump pad. Waz really just opening himself up to the rails, but Clock not quite connecting with them. To hang right now, making his way back out here with his own flag. But does he have anybody to help him whatsoever? Rafa is immediately on the pickup, but this is. A huge opportunity for them. If Rafa is able to be in the base while the flag runner dies and he's able to pick it up immediately, you're in a bit of trouble. Oh, well, what's going to happen? There goes the return. And another opportunity lost there. 60 seconds left. Here goes the quad. It's on brick. He's oh, no. got no health, though. He's got nine health. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be 0 4 taking it. But with only 45 seconds left on the clock, he can't really afford to you know, soak up too much in his own base. He's got to push forward here. 40 seconds left. I don't know what's going to happen, Jaha. I don't know what's going to happen. Zero4 is just killing the squad. He's just making sure it's defensive. This is going to be oh, so yeah, insane. We can hear one coming in. We can hear two coming in. Saigon is going to be on the region. Difficult to take out. I mean, Zero4 had the quad, but not a whole lot of LG ammo. And they're all going to be on the defense here. They know they've got that lead. There's Clock. Clock. He gets the grab. He's got nine points seconds. of health. Can his teammates help no. him out here? And there is the return from Zero4. Ten seconds left. That's GG. just not enough time. And there are the GGs. And it looks like 24 going to take it. Amazing and stuff there from both teams. But 2014 going to avoid the bracket reset. Yeah. So yeah. congratulations to them. They are crowned the champions of Quake on 2014. And amazing. That brick run. That, bri that, brick, <laughs> that brick run. That was so sick. That's going to be in the highlights for sure. Uh, that was unbelievable. I it mean, was, it, was it wasn't just so the run good. itself. It was just that after that one, and it was a cap that only tied it up one-on-one, one -on -one, but for like the next two minutes, just everybody was just just completely phased. Yeah, you of course. Tell yeah, that, the that map their was focus just was just destroyed. Loved. It was so amazing just because... It's just the tension. You can just feel the tension. I mean, it's, it's something that's just so... It almost feels so unique to Quake. I mean, you see it in some other esports games as well, but that is our brand of tension, and it's just... It's, I don't know. It's just, there's no words to really describe it effectively. It's an, it's an ineffable, joyful, delightful moment that I love to I can't to wait see. to watch the highlight on that again and again and again. But, you know, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have the Open Duel Finals coming up here, and then we've got the, you know... Grand Duel Finals coming up as well. As and the bronze, and match the bronze well. matches right before them. So we've got a whole day left of Quake here. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and afterwards, we're going to have uh, a guest here. There's a lot of awesome people at QuakeCon, mm. but this one's going to be very special indeed. Stay tuned.